Officials say leave now, even though, like Laura said, the lane reversal is going to end today. One of the big concerns is going to be the winds, especially on the bridges. News 2's Olivia Parsons is live along I-26 this morning. Olivia, the wind could make it dangerous to drive across bridges. Good morning, Octavia. And that's the big question. Will the bridges close? Well, no, they won't. But right now, I'm live along I-26. And as you can see behind me, not a whole lot of traffic. And right now, conditions are clear. But over the course of the next 24 hours, as wind speeds start to pick up, it's not going to be safe to travel along the roads, let alone the bridges. And you can absolutely expect standing water in some of those areas. And this goes for coastal bridges like the Ravenel, the Wanda River Bridge, the Isle of Palms Connector. Even as soon as this afternoon, it might not be possible to travel on some of the bridges here in the Low Country. This is due to safety concerns. Mayor Tecklenburg says the Ravenel will not actually close to traffic. It doesn't technically um, close. We don't go out there and put barricades out. Uh, but at a certain wind speed, 40 miles an hour it is, uh, uh, you're, you're crossing the bridge at your own risk. If you live in a designated evacuation area, you have until this morning to head out and reach a safe distance from Dorian. Live along I-26 this morning, Olivia Parsons, count on two.